It's summer in Guinea. Warm African air erupts into big thunderstorms, drenching the landscape with heavy rain as lightning flashes through the sky. In the past, these storms took cities and villages by surprise. That is about to change. Nestled along the western coast of Africa, Guinea is one of the least developed countries in the world, according to the UN. Preventing damage from weather is a goal of Guinean meteorologists and government leaders alike. But the reality is, much like other African nations, Guinea lacks the kind of modern weather infrastructure that helps save lives here in the U.S. Radar systems cost millions of dollars, a vast sum largely out of reach for developing nations with limited resources. That is the reason why many radar systems around the world have fallen into disrepair. Recognizing a need for early warning systems, the Ghanaian Weather Service entered a public-private partnership with Earth Networks and Cellcom Guinea to help fill their void through a demonstration project. By working together as a team, uh, really for the first time, we can deliver reliable, high-quality uh, weather data, forecasts, and warnings. And that's important, but even more important, we can allow Dr. Ba and his team to focus on actually delivering the information and decision tools to support the needs of the country of Guinea, particularly around agriculture, water, energy, transportation, and disaster preparedness. In a project whose scope had never before been seen in Africa, Earth Networks installed a state-of-the-art early warning system, including 12 total lightning sensors with automated weather stations. The installation of the Earth Network sensors has more than doubled the number of weather stations in Guinea and for the first time provided total lightning detection. The price tag is a fraction of the cost of traditional radar. This gives them way more information than they had before. It gives them more real-time information to react on and it should be a great benefit for them to alert the, the officials in the country and the public. The Ghanaian early warning system came to good use quickly. On September 1st, a storm system crossed from southern Mali into a flood-prone section of Guinea. Thanks to the sensor network in place, Ghanaian meteorologists were able to track those storms in real time. Having a total lightning network in country allows the Ghanaian meteorologists to see into thunderstorms and see into approaching weather in a way they never uh, thought possible before. Using ensembles of the top global weather models, Ghanaian meteorologists are now able to generate pinpoint local hourly forecasts for the first time. These forecasts incorporate the local weather and lightning data measured by the real-time sensors in Guinea. On the partnership with Earth Networks, Dr. Ba, director of the National Meteorology Directorate of Guinea, wrote, Initial assessment of the demonstration project of an early warning system in Guinea has been positive. Currently, the project represents the exhibition of a successful public-private endeavor to increase the resilience of developing nations to severe weather. This innovative and proven partnership model is now poised to expand. You know, based on what we're seeing in Guinea, there's no reason to think that this can't really be a long-term sustainable solution for not only all the countries in Africa, but many of the developing countries around the world. For more information on the public-private partnership and the early warning system in Guinea, please visit earthnetworks.com slash guinea.